Understanding Baleen Whale Dive into the Deep Hello, ocean explorers and language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the depths of the English language to understand the term baleen whale. It's not just a fascinating marine creature, but also an interesting phrase to learn. So, let's set sail on this linguistic voyage. The term baleen whale refers to a group of large whales that includes species like the blue whale, humpback, and gray whale. Unlike other whales, they don't have teeth. Instead, they have baleen plates which are used to filter food from the water. These marine giants are known for their majestic size and filter feeding habits. Now, let's explore the baleen itself. Baleen is made of keratin, the same material as human hair and nails. It hangs from the upper jaw and acts like a sieve. When a baleen whale feeds, it takes in a huge gulp of water, then pushes the water out while the baleen traps krill and small fish. Baleen whales can be found in all the world's oceans, from the polar regions to the equator. They are migratory, traveling long distances from feeding grounds to breeding grounds. Their migration is not just a journey, but a spectacle of nature that many marvel at. Sadly, many baleen whales are considered endangered or vulnerable due to past whaling and current threats like ship strikes, entanglement in fishing gear, and climate change. It's crucial to highlight the importance of conserving these magnificent creatures for the health of our oceans. And there we surface. I hope this journey has given you a clear understanding of the term, baleen whale, and the awe-inspiring animals it represents. Remember, language learning is an ocean of possibilities, and you've just conquered another wave. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.